Hello and greetings. Welcome to video number seven on the series of customizing ISP config. On this video, what we're doing is uh, learn how you actually start setting up uh, subdomains. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to open the FileZilla and and we're actually going to log in with the so I'm just going to set it up right here locally 199.168.71.51 the user is this and the password should be this and quick connect and trust okay so now we have the site and let me zoom into this uh, zoom in yeah that, that should be good okay so under our web folder what we're going to do is just create a we're going to right click or create a folder whichever depends on on which client you're using but i'm going to go ahead and just create a folder and this on this folder is going to be called um you know what i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to call it subdomain literally what it is sub domain and press ok so now you'll notice that I have a subdomain right here right here so this subdomain is where I want to dump everything I want and we'll start testing this so I'm gonna keep on I'm gonna let this run and now what I'm gonna do is open my Chrome and let me zoom out a little bit cuz um, Okay, so so remember the very first thing you'll do is create a uh, folder in your uh, web folder once you have that then you're going to go to site and you're going to go here on the left where it says subdomain subdomains for website click on that you notice there's nothing there we're going to go ahead and click on add new or add subdomain and we're going to keep it simple. We're going to call this sub domain. Okay. So here on the, the direction, I want it to be on the left. I want it to be in the front of the site, the site name. So it'll be subdomain dot ISP config dot tutorial dot slash tutorial dot net. Um, you know, you, so this is on the left. And then the path is going to be that sub. Oops, it's going to be that subdomain. Uh, subdomain. Okay. So slash subdomain slash. Press OK. And now we actually have this folder that's active. And this is what the website would be called. Let me actually zoom zoom in. The website would actually be subdomain dot ispconfig-tutorial.net and you you see these use a lot like uh, in those infomercial or the, I don't know what you call it but uh, those marketing companies that uh, you sign up for and it'll be like you know Amway slash whatever and the, the user's name or um, I don't know the Avon or whatever I mean all, I, I see that stuff all the time um, it's actually that slash would be this they normally end up to they being the a lot of the companies end up putting it at the end I like seeing it in the front just because it's just easier for me personally. I think it looks better But it, it depends on, on what you're doing. So anyways, but that's just me venting or just rambling So we we know we have this but now what we need to do is set up the machine so they know so ISP config knows how to set this thing up now we're going to go under uh, DNS. We're going to go ahead and click on this client. And under records, we're going to go ahead and create an alias, which is this A. So we're going to click on A. And the host is going to be subdomain. Subdomain. Okay. The IP address, all you have to do is just click on there, wait, and it's going to give you the list of all your servers. In our case, we just have one. And then I want this to time to live with. It's just going to be, um, you know what, 
just five minutes, 300 seconds. It's actually measured in seconds. Um, I'm gonna save it. So now you'll notice that it's actually here. Um, subdomain gets pointed to this particular um, uh, IP address. Uh, we're gonna wait for that to actually update. Okay, so that, that actually already saved. So now we can actually test this. Well, actually not yet. We have to do one more thing, which is actually put information in there. So let's actually see it if, it, if it's active or not. So if we go under sub, subdomain dot ISP config dash tutorial. Got it. I had to choose the longest freaking name. Dot net. You'll notice that I really don't have anything. I mean, it just, yeah, I don't have anything. So what I'm going to do is, let me minimize this. And I want to do it step by step so you guys can actually uh, literally get the whole gist of this. And again, I'm just going to use a, a basic notepad. And... I'm gonna call this uh, sub. Oh, you know what? Yeah, sub subdomain is on. Why not? In a winky. Why not? So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this on my desktop, and I'm gonna call this uh, index dot html. I'm gonna save it. Okay, so that already is there. Uh, okay, so if I actually refresh my desktop, you'll notice that now I have my this index. So if I drag it over to that subdomain folder and I bring back the subdomain and I just refresh it, you're gonna notice now, and let me zoom in. There it is. Oops. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm on the wrong page. Uh, I have two monitors and it keeps on jumping on the next one. And you can see right here, here's the subdomain is on with the winky. So now I can actually create a totally new page within itself. And I can act, uh, now I actually have on this ISP config would be the main page. If I go here, here's the th this page so right so here's this page and then under my subdomain dot isp config dash tutorial dot net Jesus that's a mouthful um, I actually have a totally separate page so hopefully this made sense again all that good jazz subscribe thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one again if you guys run into trouble uh, don't hesitate to put it on the comments um, it does sometimes take me about 24 hours. Sometimes the last time it took me two days to get to one because I wanted to test every little piece of it. But I do answer every email. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.